Hey, it's me, GF. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. This is part 22. In the last episode, we found the quest Beyond the Beef, and we are looking for Heck Gunderson's son in the Ultralux, Ted Gunderson. It has been quite a while since I have recorded Fallout New Vegas, so I might be a little bit out of it, and the reason for that is because I came down with a really sort of serious, not, not serious serious, but, um, a stomach bug that was really bad, like, uh, you guys know when you have a fever and it's like you're cold and you're hot at the same exact time? Well, usually I can handle that, but this time it was like, it was, it was horrible, it was like pure hell, um, so, the point of saying that is that, uh, my recording schedule has been a little bit off, so yeah, anyways, uh, we're looking for Ted Gunderson in the kitchen of the, uh, the Ultralux. So this leads to the Ultralux kitchen, which is actually above us. We are in the dark depths. Who would think that a, uh, a fancy casino? I think we already talked to the... In fact, I think we can walk around now because we told him that we're here to fix the pipes, which of course is a lie. Let's see what's in this door. Yeah, so I think we can walk around now uh, without fear of being caught. Okay, so nothing in there. That door is inaccessible. I always feel like that's a cop-out in Fallout games when you go to a door and it says inaccessible, which basically means you, you can never get behind that door. Uh, like, why? You know, put something behind it. Um, okay, so this is the bathroom. I mean, we have a quest mark. I'm just doing a little bit of exploring. Okay, we have a first aid box here, but it is illegal to open. I mean, I, I Arizona wouldn't care, you know, he'd take it, but it's just that, uh, I don't really like negative karma, no matter how small the amount. So here we have Philippe. Why are you standing still? Do you think the world waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. What? Why do you think I work for you? I don't even have your, your guys' suit. I think you may have confused me with someone else. Oh, really? So despite your filthy face and your vacant expression and your complete lack of human dignity, you're telling me you're not a server. Oh, no, you have it right. I am a server. Well, then why the fuck are you still standing there like you aren't the lowest form of life ever to be flushed down the evolutionary toilet? Jesus. This kind is not lit up. I was just wondering where I could find tonight's wines. Well, why don't you fucking try checking the serving table in the wine room for fuck's sake? Circular room, two rooms down, ring any bells? Christ! Now, don't speak to me again or I swear I'll serve you as the main course. I think this guy is the number one most hostile NPC I have ever encountered in any video game. Um, okay, so, yeah, so if you guys don't remember what we're doing here, there's a bunch of different options that we can do. Find a sponsor to help you join the White Glove Society. We can't do that because we're not notorious enough. We haven't done enough quests. Drug the wine at the wine, drug, yeah, drug the wine at the White Glove Society banquet. That looks like what we're going to be going with. Get rid of Philippe and cook for the banquet using his recipe for human flesh. But in the end, we just need to get Ted to his father alive. So I kind of want to figure out where this dude's recipe is. I thought I told you to get lost. You did tell me that. Um, okay, so we have no dialogue options. What if we go into sneak and then loot him? Our sneak is decent, but this is a heavily lighted area. There we go. Philippe's recipes and Ultralux freezer key. Let's actually save the game. There we go. You also notice we are a level 13 Mojave legend. And let's try and loot this. There we go. Can we get both? Nice. Okay, note added Philippe's recipes. Let's take a look at that. Miscellaneous Philippe's recipes. This is a stack of handwritten recipes, obviously experimental, with many sections crossed out and notes scribbled in the margins. The one that seems to have gone through the most revision is called Sweet Veal. However, the notes indicate a desire to make it taste not like veal, but human flesh. Um, okay. Then what's the actual recipe? What? How are we supposed to know how to make this then? Is there actually, we should be able to use the, yeah, we could use this. Everything necessary to cook a meal is here at your disposal, as long as Philippe isn't there to stop you. Survival of 75 or higher required to improvise a meal using no recipe, intelligence of 6 or higher, and a recipe required to cook following the recipe. I see. So, Philippe needs to die if we're going that route. Um, yeah, why don't we do it that way? Pantry access terminal, let's see what this says. If we can be hidden. You know what, we're going to have to kill Philippe here. So, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, because this guy's an asshole anyways. The world is not going to miss Philippe. No one else is here to see us kill him. Hopefully, this crappy little 22 is going to do the job. Looks like it is, and we actually gain karma for killing him. Bye-bye, Philippe. 
So we didn't actually have to pickpocket that stuff. Uh, so we can cook it, but in a second here, let's see what's in this pantry access terminal. Engage lock. Well, I don't want to be locked out of anything. Okay, let's see if we can't cook this recipe now. Cook imitation human flesh using recipe. But you should... Okay, okay, so you have to have the recipe and an intelligence of six or higher. All right, let's go ahead and cook it. There we go. Use the intercom to call in the head waiter. Okay, where is the intercom? So many quest objectives, and I've seen an intercom before. There's an intercom. How may I assist? Time to serve the meal. At once. I don't think I've ever done it this way. This quest has always been one of those ones that, that escapes me as far as my memory goes. So let's see. Found you. What? No, no, no. What? Come on. Okay, that didn't work. Um, I assume it's because we didn't... We might want to equip his uh, clothes. Or maybe it's because of the dead bodies right there. Either way, I want to reload that and do that all over again. But this time, equip the clothes. Alright, so let's see if this works. We haven't done this yet, but if you equip the uh, clothes that a certain faction wears, it should put you in that faction. So now we look like this. The hat's a little bit off, but uh, something tells me this is not going to work. How may I... Time to serve the meal. Um, I don't really know what's supposed to happen here. It's completing the objective, and it didn't give me a notice that said that now because we have this, these clothes on that uh, they're going to treat us like their Over own. Over here! Yeah, kind of figured this would happen. I, I don't really know what's going on here. Let me go ahead and find out. Yeah, I really don't know what's going on here. I looked at the guide, and apparently you need to wait till 7 p.m., which for some reason it was actually already 7 p.m. Um, and then you need to, you know, cook the meal and then call the head waiter at 7 p.m. So, I don't know why this is not working, but either way, I guess we'll just do the wine way, because looks like this is a dead end. So, we need to find ourselves to the wine area. Let's see, was our optional objective upgraded? No. Drug the wine at the White Glove Society Banquet. Alright, so we're going to have to find our way over there, but I honestly have no clue where that is. Uh, there's Philippe. Where's think? the other quest marker? pointing to something beyond here that we can't actually go to so maybe um, it's beyond this door now this dude over here the head waiter or whatever actually aggroed onto us so I'm going to go back into sneak and assume that they're going to attack me if they find me is this the quest objective no that's the ultra lux kitchen okay well let's head back up here then and I really don't know where all this stuff is leading but hopefully it's to the right area all right I remember this quest always being really confusing Okay, what in the world is back here? Whatever it is, there's a quest marker. What does this say? Nothing. Alright, members only section. Okay, so this is actually probably where Ted is. We may be actually we may be able to just sneak him out, I'm not sure. Um, let's see. A whole bunch of hostile people here. And a neutral one. Who is that? Mortimer. It's kind of odd. Okay, let's see. We have a quest marker in the back there. I'm assuming that's Ted. I'm going to try and find my way to the wine cellar, actually, because I don't think this is the way that we want to do it. All right, so it was actually in a room that we already passed. I just didn't notice, but obviously there's a whole bunch of bottles of wine over here. And if we hover over this, it says examine wine. These wines are set up to be taken by servers out to the banquet. Medicine of 25 or higher and medics required to drug the wine. And unfortunately, we don't have medicine of 25 or higher. So it looks like we can't do it that way either. Well, son of a bitch. What in the world is going on here? It's not letting me do the way where we create um, our own recipe or we create Philippe's recipe. Let me figure this out once more. Okay, so I killed Philippe once more uh, and then I dragged his body into here. We also picked up a... Uh, no, wait, I wanted to... You spoiled it, Ted. Uh, we also picked up the freezer key, so I was going to drag him into the freezer and hide his body because I was like, oh, is that what the developers want you to do? Because that's really cool, actually. Um, but then I found out that Ted Gunderson is actually back here. I thought he was back where everybody else was, but I guess not. So we'll leave Ted Gunderson there for now. We'll close that door. We will cook this recipe. There we go. Did we get it right? It should change our objectives. Okay, and now we have Ted here. How's it going, Ted? My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you've done to me. Calm down. I've come to get you out of here. My daddy sent you? God damn it. I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Okay, Who bud. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. 
why don't you just be a little bit more grateful? I'm kind of rescuing from can rescuing you uh, rescuing you from cannibals here. Um, let's see. We can also attack them. Doesn't matter. I'm going to finish what they started. Uh, there's no time to explain. We have to go now. All right, fine. I'm right behind you. But we also kind of want to expose Mortimer, right? We could just leave with Ted. That would work. Come on. Oh crap, on, but he's actually it. following us now. We have no dialogue here. Um oh my god, this quest is such a pain in the ass. Alright, I'm gonna do this. How may I And time to serve the meal. And I'm gonna assume he's going to attack me again immediately. I mean he sees Ted out here. Yeah, the thing's already hot. Someone's already hostile over there, and you are hostile. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reload the save, do all that stuff over again. Before I talk to Ted, I'm going to hide the chef's body. I don't think the game works like that, but I'm going to see, um, and then try and talk to the head waiter without him being hostile. If not, I'm just going to escape with Ted, because this quest is becoming a huge pain in my ass, and I'm over it. All right, yeah, well, I tried it that way. I stowed Philippe's body away in the freezer. Didn't work out, so we're just going to escape with Ted Gunderson here. I don't really know what's going on with this quest. Um, I looked it up, and apparently it's it's glitched for some people, so it might just be a glitch, but I have a, a feeling that uh, we did something wrong. I don't really know. I tried my best here. I don't really know what's going on with this one, but uh, we will end it nevertheless. I did really want to expose Mortimer. Um, I wonder if me being hidden is going to alert these guys. Okay, you need to be really quiet, Ted. Ted? Okay, come on. Come on, buddy. Yeah, let's not bother with those guys. They have flamethrowers. Can we close that door? No? Okay. Moving forward. I feel like... What's that? Qu I always get it mixed up. I, I feel... I always uh, forget if it's in Skyrim or... Or no, if it's in Oblivion or in Morrowind. But the quest where you, like, um, sneak a an Argonian out of something and, like, you have to go through a hall. I feel like it's Morrowind. Okay. Alright, so... They're not aggroing. I wonder if we're safe now. We're gonna put our weapon away. That's probably a smart thing to do. Gonna go ahead and break stealth? I mean, we're in public now, so I don't think the White Glove Society is going to do anything to stop this. Um, so we're in the Gourmand. Let's go back to the casino floor and go back to Heck Gunderson. Although, wouldn't you think that, remember in the last episode we said that if he got alerted, uh, he'd kill everybody? Don't you think that's going to happen this time? Because, I mean, what's going to change? He's still going to know that these people did this. You know? Okay, but regardless, we're going to find out. So, Ted Gunderson's still behind me, right? Yes. Heck Gunderson should still be over here, right where he was. Okay, let's see if they talk to each other automatically if, or if we need to initiate conversation. He's getting up. Oh my god. Ted, are you all right? Quit your hollering. I'm fine. Talk to Heck Gunderson. You got me my boy back. I got no words. Now, I hope you didn't do no harm to whoever's responsible for this. I want to skin their hides myself. I actually didn't, but I wanted to. So we could say I don't know who took him, I just found him. It was Mortimer, one of the uh, White Gloves who had Ted taken. He's a cannibal. You can blame the White Glove Society, they're all cannibals. So that's not true, and we're not evil. So we're going to go with it was Mortimer, one of the White Gloves who had Ted taken. He's a cannibal. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Heck Gunderson long as they live. Hell, I'll put me together a damn blockade. Hit them where it hurts. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. It's a goddamn monument to inhumanity. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. Uh, let's not be hasty. You don't have to punish the entire strip. The heck I don't. It's their support that gives these bastards power. They all ought to suffer for what they've done. I just won't be satisfied with anything less. Wouldn't be enough. My mind's made up on this. I'm cutting off the food supply to the strip. They gotta learn their lesson the hard way, looks like. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. Okay, well, we completed Beyond the Beef. We got 500 caps. We also have leveled up, and that's not the way I wanted to end things. Man, having no speech really impedes you. God. 
or re yeah, impedes the right word, right? Or deters, whatever you want to say. Um, yeah, so it looks like because of our actions, Heck Gunderson is not going to supply the entire strip, which, what does anybody else have to do with this? Uh, you know, he's not going to supply them with food, which obviously is bad. If we had the speech, we could convince him otherwise, but that's not going to happen. Also, if we probably uh, resolve this by exposing mortar it probably wouldn't end like that either but we didn't have the medicine for the wine we didn't have the notoriety for the uh, sponsorship and the food thing wasn't working out so i don't know I, you know it's kind of leaves a sour taste in my mouth but i did my best okay so we've maxed out sneak guns is maxed out what should we do next uh usually i like to go for lockpick but we actually have no more points we also get a perk let's scroll down and see what we have uh, at our disposal here. Purifiers. A purifier the wasteland, you do 50% damage with melee and unarmed weapons against. Nope. Uh, you'll never set off an enemy's minds. Nope. You don't fool around with fancy trick shots. Straight into the midsection, down they go. In fact, you do an additional 50% damage with attacks targeting the torso. I target the head, usually. Your limbs only receive 50% of the damage they normally would. I like that one, and I usually get that one. Alright, Hack. You done right, Bobby. I appreciate it. Yep, and Ted? You know, if you knew what you were doing, I could have been out of there hours ago. Okay, we get it, dude. You're an asshole. We get it. Alright, well, I am out of here. So, we've actually completed one of the um, parameters for the Yes Man quest. The side bets, or whatever it's called, where we have to deal with all of the factions. And now we can report back to Yes Man. I mean, we can do it all at the same time. But we have a little bit of time left in this episode. So, we might as well end it with completing this quest so yes man is not in front of the tops anymore because he's integrated into the lucky 38 so i will head over there it's kind of annoying that you have to come back to the lucky 38 every time you want to talk to yes man but every securetron on the network has been upgraded pretty neat huh pretty neat indeed wow you really blew up all those securetrons at the fort great no problem yeah, by the way, everyone has commented pretty much that I should have upgraded the Securitrons. Look, the thing is, whenever I make a decision in this Let's Play, I think what, and, I, and I've replied to you a lot, um, I've replied to a lot of you in this way, but I think, you know, what would Arizona do? I don't think Arizona would upgrade the Securitrons, you know, he'd destroy them. Who want, the, um, the type of man that Arizona is, he wouldn't want a giant robot army being available to anyone. And I know that's going to make this playthrough harder, but at the same time, I don't really care, you know, it's a video game, we're going to beat it, nevertheless. Let's talk about the tribes I should get to know, and... Uh, I spoke to Marjorie and Mortimer. I say leave the White Glove Society alone. Say no more, say no more. If you say they're good, they're good. That's one down, more to go. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I really hate how we didn't really resolve that uh, quest. I don't think, no matter what you do, I don't think the White Glove Society can be your ally at all. So... Uh, you know, we're just gonna move on from there. We're gonna end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. In the next episode, we will deal with a completely new tribe, and I know exactly which one that's going to be. And I will see you guys there. Bye-bye.